Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Chivalry 2. Honestly, the game is well optimized. I'm really impressed with it. If I compare uh, this launch versus Mordo, Mordo was like kind of like a shit show. <laughs> had a lot of issue with my FPS. And this one, honestly, uh, after the guide, you will have a lot of FPS, no drop, and everything is really smooth. So we will start with Windows. So the first parameter to use is your game mode. For the past two months now, uh, I recommend to use it before I was telling people not to using it. A lot of like stuttering, random issue. But right now I did a couple of tests with the latest version and it's really good. For example, if you have like a Ryzen processor, it's taking your best score to make sure that your best score is running your game. Before it was pretty random, like my best score was like just running some random task on Windows and uh, my worst score sometimes was running the game. So now the best score that you have with the best boost clock will always be used for your game. So make sure that your game mode is at on. After that, Xbox Game Bar, make sure that you don't use that. Put this one at off. Don't use any overlay. So Discord, AMD, NVIDIA overlay, don't use that. You will lose FPS and also sometimes it's causing stuttering. And uh, if you want to monitor your FPS, your uh, temperature and stuff like that, use MSI Afterburner. This is pretty much the best software that you can use. After that, for the capture, make sure that background recording is at off. Recorded audio is at off. Another thing that you can do is write GPU in your search bar. Make sure that you open graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card the series 1000 and above or and the latest version, sorry, of Windows 10 to have the new feature called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You need to put this one at on. You will need to restart your computer to make sure it's applied. Uh, normally you can get like a two to four person boost in your FPS on the low end and mid end uh, computer. On high-end computer, I didn't see any difference when you use that for now. I really also recommend to uh, update your driver, Chivalry 2. It's pretty much, like, it's a big game. So sometimes like a company like AMD or Nvidia, they have like dedicated fix and a driver for those kind of game. So make sure that you update your driver. Also, if you have a, an integrated GPU, make sure that you're going on the Intel website and update your driver. Don't just use the update uh, driver from Windows. Sometimes they just give you a driver to make sure that you're seeing your screen and your monitor, but it's not like dedicated for video games. One more thing is uh, your profile. Energy profile, I will show you, for example, on NVIDIA, you go to control panel. Make sure you always use balance or high performance um, energy profile. So for example here, power management mode on NVIDIA, you want to prefer maximum performance. Uh, really important. Uh, on desktop, it's not that bad. Normally, by default, you you have like a, some balance uh, profile. But I see a lot of people with laptop having issue with it. Even when they plug on the wall, the computer stay in eco mode. So because of that, your uh, CPU, GPU are running like lower boost clock because they want like to save energy. And you don't want that. So if you're using, I don't know what, Dell, Asus, whatever company, make sure that your driver, you're using like the proper mode. And also you can write energy in your bar and in Windows, just use like balance or high performance profile. So that's about it for the setup of Windows. Now let's go inside of the game. We have a lot of parameters that we can change to optimize our FPS. So now the graphic parameter, go to settings, option, after that, you want to go to video. So the first parameter is the resolution. Make sure that you're playing native. So as you can see, you see it here. Uh, don't downscale it too much. Uh, your game will look uh, very blurry. And uh, yeah, that's about it. For window mode, make sure that you're playing full screen. Borderless or window I uh, was like losing FPS. And also borderless was causing me stuttering. So really important to use the full screen. I'm not using the V-Sync. So I don't use the v-sync and i uncap my fps so to have the most fps possible uh it really depends on you if you want the v-sync you will don't you will not have any tearing anymore but your input lag will go a little bit higher uh, but it really depends are you guys like using free sync g-sync really depend on your computer but honestly it's not a huge deal for the fov i'm using 90 for the first person fov uh if you go too crazy with this one you will see that you will lose a couple of fps because you need to render more in front of you so it's not a huge deal again but still i just want to mention it 
after that let's go with the advanced settings so first of all the resolution scale make sure that you're playing at 100 by default mine was at 133 i didn't like understand why so go at 100 you will save fps because of that and if you want to downscale like after all the guide i will show you if you still don't get the the amount of fps that you're uh, you want uh go with 95 maximum 90 uh lower than that you will see that your image quality will decrease a lot for view distance, first parameter, I recommend medium. Uh, in the, those kind of game, low is too low. You don't see in front of you and like some archers is shooting you and you don't know where is he. So medium is a good balance. You will get like 3 to 4% for each bracket over here. Uh, and for sure, if you're playing on the, like on a laptop with an integrated GPU, you will probably need to go to low. Shadow quality, this one I recommend low. Epic to low, you can get 10 to 12% boost in your FPS. So really important, this one, just go with low. Anti-aliasing quality, I'm using FXA AI. Uh, you will get like a nice 3 to 4 percent boost in your FPS. And TA for me, it's too blurry. So that's why I'm using the FXA at I. Texture quality, I'm using I. Uh, I did a test on Epic. I have 8 gig of VRAM and I don't know why my game is stuttering at Epic. So uh, yeah, I'm playing at I. So if you have 4 gig and more of VRAM, go with I. 3 gig medium, less than 3 gig, go with low. After that, post, process qual pro post processing quality, I don't go with Epic too uh, too much blurry for me. I think it really depends on like your uh, rig. You can go with something like medium and high. It's like three percent boost to high, two percent to medium, and one percent to low. So it really depends where you are right now in the guide and how much FPS that you need. Uh, select medium or high. Motion blur quality, you want to remove that, really important, you don't want to use this, so motion blur intensity, you put this one at zero. Uh, ragdoll lifetime and blo uh, blood decay lifetime, this, this will help you a lot with stuttering, just put those one at minimum, it will help you a lot. And um, same thing with the ambient course quality, uh, that's another, the thing that you can put at off and honestly it will help you a lot if you have a lot of stuttering. It doesn't help me much on my desktop because I have a pretty much a pretty good computer for a desktop computer. But on my laptop, it's crazy the amount like of drop that I'm getting with those parameter like at medium. So that's why I'm going minimum over here, minimum over here and the ambient course quality at off. Ambient uh, particle, I recommend to uh, disable this one also. Another one that was causing me a lot of... Uh, uh, inconsistency sorry in my fps uh so a couple of drop to uh, stuttering and stuff like that so really important this one don't activate it the last one is the direct x12 uh probably it will get better in the future with patches i did a test in direct x12 first of all i'm getting almost the same amount of fps than my direct x11 but i'm getting a lot of drop of fps even on my desktop my desktop right now i'm using a ryzen 5900x with the rtx 2070 yes i know it's a bottleneck my, my cpu but i can't find a gpu but uh yeah so don't use the direct x12 right now it's it's pretty shitty uh just go with direct x11 and it, Honestly, the, the game is running like really smooth, so don't have an issue with it. So that's about it, guys, for the guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me any question about like uh, the game and post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.